Hi folks, and welcome to an exciting new concept here at Shave the Man. I've decided to put a weekly package together of questions that have been asked on all our Shave the Man forums, the Facebook group, uh, the G Plus group, and also on Twitter. I'm interested in your participation. So let's get on with it. Let's look at some questions that were asked in the Shave the Man Facebook group recently. A fougère. What in the heck is it? Fougère simply means fern in French, and it refers to a group of fragrances which are essentially fresh, um, herbaceous, kind of woody, and in many instances of late have had a barbershop kind of uh, scent going through them all. Typically, fougères contain uh, lavender, oak moss, um, bergamot, and tonka bean. I mean, there are other things that uh, fragrance makers and soap makers include in that listing, in that group, but essentially that's what you'll find. So really, it's a group of fragrances that have kind of a ferny, herby, fresh kind of uh, character about them. Examples of these, well, the classic Penhaligon's English Fern is uh, one of the greatest examples of a fougere, but also the humble and readily available Brut. Yes, Brut is a fougere. Does shaving soap have an expiry date? I'm debating if I should buy in bulk so I can store long term. The answer to this question, yes and no. If you purchase hard soaps, then over time the scent will diminish somewhat, but it's not going to uh, disintegrate to such a point where it's going to melt your face off. Soft soaps, on the other hand, do have an expiry date, and that's why you have these little symbols with, you know, six month, 12 month, or 24 month, um, uh, you know, little symbol with a lid on it. Um, be mindful of that. Uh, once these uh, products come into contact with the air around us, there are certain uh, oxidation reduction reactions that occur without getting too technical. And in some instances, in some instances, they can actually do more harm than good to your face. There's a lot of debate about this. Sometimes you notice some discoloration in the soap. That is perfectly normal, okay? If you um, open up a soap for the very first time, and I'm, I'm referring to soft soaps here primarily, You'll look at it and you'll think, wow, this is wonderful. And after you've shaved with it a couple of times, it may take on a tannish appearance or a brownish or, a, you know, it, it starts to look a bit off. There's nothing wrong with that. That is perfectly okay. Do not be alarmed. Do not be disturbed. Do not call the authorities. It's perfectly okay. Why on earth would you stockpile one soap or 10 soaps when you can just keep rotating through? Remember, this is an illness, and so it needs to be treated as such. You need to buy more soap, like we all do. How many hairs do you seem to lose when breaking in a new badger brush? Is there a number at which point you think the knot is bad? Uh, the answer to this question, annoyingly, is how long's a piece of string? I mean, you want to talk about loss of hairs? Seriously, though, um, brushes, by the same maker very wildly. Um, you might get one brush by a maker X that doesn't lose a single hair and you purchase another brush from that maker and it seems to lose two or three every time you use it. Um, there are a number of variables, the quality of the knot, the epoxy resin that's used to keep all the hairs together. Um, badger hair is a natural product and they're going to have you're going to have fluctuations and variations with all natural products um, if you start losing 30 or 40 every time you shave it's time to call the doctor something's going on there um, uh, actually don't call the doctor call the manufacturer or say look I'm just wondering I've got a problem here um, I'm just shaving with a handle now. There's no hair on this. Is there something I can do about this? It happens. It happens. It happens with very expensive brushes. It happens with inexpensive brushes. And it also doesn't happen with inexpensive brushes. The thing that you'll come to know as you embrace this hobby, as we all have um, uh, come to know, is that there are 
so many combinations and permutations, there are so many variables, there are so many subjective experiences um, that uh, you then start to develop a, well, a, a mean, a norm, the golden mean, where you say, look, maybe losing 40 hairs every time I shave uh, is probably not a good thing, but losing three or four in the first three or four uses has been known to happen. As I say, some people, and myself included, have had brushes where I haven't lost a single hair. I've lost more hair on my head during that shave than I have from the brush. So, it does vary wildly. Um, as I say, if you're noticing that you're losing way too many, then I think it's time to do something about it. Call the manufacturer. But some hair loss is totally natural. Okay, shave of the day picture. Now, what's this all about? Um, Basically, we scroll through, I'm scrolling through uh, G Plus and Facebook, look at a picture, and for some reason, for some reason, it just <laughs> sticks out and says, wow, here I am. So we have some beautiful compositions by, you know, um, quite a few guys that take the time and the effort to compose photographs and put them together. And all of this stuff takes time. All of this takes time. And I think it's time that we return the favor, um, or at least return the appreciation. Keep those photographs coming, share, contribute. Today's shave of the day is Barry Baisden. Lovely, I love this, love this wonderful photograph. It's everything that traditional wet shaving should be. It just makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the insides of my intestines and stuff. Feel great. Okay, so contribute. If you're not a member of the Shave the Man Facebook group, why aren't you a member? Become a member, uh, become a member of the G Plus group. If you have any questions and you um, would like to ask those questions, no question is dumb or silly. Ask. I don't have all the answers, but when you ask a question, people come in and they contribute, and that's how we learn. And that's why I think it's important to showcase these on a weekly basis here at Post Shave. So, contribute folks, and we'll see you in the next Post Shave episode.